There is one vitamin that you might be overlooking, but it's essential for your fertility. So I know you've probably heard of folic acid, vitamin D, iron, and other things that are found in prenatal vitamins, but do not forget about vitamin A. Vitamin A is essential for sperm production, egg production, ovulation, early pregnancy development. It is essential for your reproductive health. So watch this video to learn more about vitamin A and your fertility. I'm Dr. Laura Shaheen. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a double board certified OBGYN and reproductive endocrinologist helping people build families every day. This video is a deep dive into vitamin A and your fertility. I have learned so much from my own patients and from my own research about supplements and how important they are for fertility and early pregnancy. Watch my other videos on how to find safe supplements, as well as what to look for in your prenatal vitamin. I also have a deep dive into vitamin D. This video is about vitamin A. And this is fascinating because I was really taught to be cautious of my patients getting too much vitamin A. You know, I knew it was important for pregnancy and reproduction, but I was always worried about people getting too much because I was taught that people have vitamin A toxicity or they're taking medications that have vitamin A, it could be associated with birth defects. So Accutane is a prescription vitamin A medication used to treat cystic acne. But if people get pregnant while they're taking Accutane, it can be associated with birth defects. And so I was always thinking about the buzz of too much vitamin A, and I really hadn't focused on the essential part of how important it is for early development. And I loved doing this deep dive. And so I'm excited to share this video and all this research with you. So I'll be sharing a lot of information. If you want one article to read to get into the deep dive of the science and the level of vitamin A and its importance on a cellular level and just really nerd out. There's an incredible review about vitamin A and your reproductive health from 2011 published in the Journal of Nutrients by Margaret Claggett Dame and Danielle Knutson. In this video, we're going to be covering vitamin A and its importance in male factor fertility, its importance in female factor fertility, its association with birth defects if it's too much, but also how essential it is for the formation of bones, eyes, and other things in the embryo as it's developing. It's kind of too much is a bad thing and too little is, is a bad thing as well. And we'll go over that. You will learn how much vitamin A you should be getting daily and how much is too much in order to not have some of the harmful effects that can come from too much vitamin A. So that's a lot of information. I'm going to be sharing a lot of studies, but it's fascinating and I'm really looking forward to sharing this with you. So let's start with male factor fertility and vitamin A. So studies early on, decades ago, really showed how essential vitamin A is for sperm production. If in animal models, you do not have enough vitamin A, the cells in the testicles that actually create sperm change function completely. And other studies have also shown that if you give vitamin A back, those cells can start making sperm again. It is fascinating. We have known for decades that vitamin A is essential for sperm production. So decades ago in the Wallback lab, basically looking at vitamin A deficiency, you could see cells within the testicle actually change and stop being able to make sperm. Follow-up studies with a different primary author named Van Pelt showed that reconstituting, re-giving vitamin A actually allowed sperm production to continue. So on a cellular level, vitamin A is essential for sperm production and health. One of the reasons that vitamin A is so essential for sperm production is a cellular process called meiosis. Vitamin A is essential for meiosis. Now, this is a type of cell production that happens with gametes. Gametes are sperm or eggs, and it's a way that cells divide and split and continue to grow. Meiosis is the replication of our gametes, of our sperm and egg cells. And so if you have disruption, if you do not have enough vitamin A at this level, you are going to have issues with sperm production as well as egg production. So studies from Kubova's lab really showed that at a cellular level, vitamin A deficiency incredibly disrupted meiosis. And this is just so essential for our reproductive health. Dysfunctional meiosis will result in dysfunctional egg and sperm production and could even be a higher risk of miscarriage. Although I couldn't find 
specific studies to show a lack of vitamin A would be associated with miscarriage. It just makes so much sense just on this cellular level. So what about female factor fertility and vitamin A? Well, we just talked about how important vitamin A is for gamete production and meiosis, which is the cell division in eggs. And studies have actually shown similarly, vitamin A deficiency has been associated with poor egg meiosis and production. Early studies by Lee et al. from 2009 really showed this exact process in rat models. So what else is, is vitamin A important for? Well, it's important in other parts of reproduction. And some studies have shown that severe vitamin A deficiency actually changes vaginal cells on the cellular level such that pH of the general tract is changed, cells stop functioning the way they're supposed to, and it can dramatically affect the ability of fertilization to happen. Studies from Mason et al. really showed on this cellular level a lack of vitamin A and its impact on vaginal cell production and function. I know I'm getting really detailed here, but it's just absolutely fascinating. What about vitamin A and pregnancy? Well, vitamin A is essential, even though it was you know really taught to me like, oh my goodness, if someone has too much vitamin A, they're going to have birth defects. You actually really need vitamin A to have a healthy pregnancy and a healthy embryo. Vitamin A deficiency can impact placental function which is incredibly important for an early pregnancy and implantation. Studies by Novak et al. really showed this impact of vitamin A deficiency and the function of the placenta. All right, so I know I'm blowing through this, but it is important to realize that all these studies exist and how important vitamin A is for sperm production and male factor fertility, egg function, reproductive function, and placental function. But what about vitamin A and birth defects? I mean, this is what I've learned the most just kind of in my training. Well, we know that too much vitamin A, like taking Accutane, can be associated with birth defects. This has been hearing issues, cleft palate, etc. But also too little vitamin A can impact birth defects. Vitamin A deficiency, which is really rare in Western countries, but in underdeveloped countries with serious nutritional needs, vitamin A deficiency can be associated with multiple birth defects, including cleft palate and cleft lip, eye deformities and blindness, brain development issues, skeletal malformations. So again, look at that really detailed review article by Margaret Claggett-Dame and Danielle Knudsen to learn about all of the information about vitamin A levels and birth defects. It just goes through it one by one in great detail. Another really good review of vitamin A and its essential role in pregnancy is again from Nutrients, that journal. It was published in 2019 and it goes into great detail about different stages of pregnancy and associations with two much vitamin A or too little vitamin A. There's even one study that shows that too little vitamin A or vitamin A deficiency in the second trimester is associated with a higher rate of schizophrenia. I am not going to go through every article that's mentioned in that review. I just want you to have that resource in case you are interested too. So what is all this buzz about too much vitamin A and birth defects? There was a landmark study that came out in the New England Journal of Medicine in 1994 that really showed that high levels of vitamin A replacement over 10,000 international units a day in the first 60 days of pregnancy was associated with significantly higher risk of birth defects. These birth defects were associated with dysfunction in the cranial neural crest development, including cleft lip and cleft palate. And this is why people who are taking Accutane are really encouraged to also take a very reliable form of birth control while they're using this Accutane for their acne. This is also why doctors warn against using topical vitamin A or retin-A or retinol for skin health while they're trying to conceive or in early pregnancy. There's actually a study out there that shows that topical retin-A is not associated with birth defects, but I think that the guidelines are really more of a better to be safe than sorry. And we know vitamin A ingested orally in really high levels can be associated with birth defects. Even though you're using it on your skin, it's better to be safe than sorry and not use it while you're pregnant. So I know I've talked about how important vitamin A is and how too much is not a good thing. That's why people call vitamin A the Goldilocks supplement, not too much much, but also not too little. You want to have it just right. So how much vitamin A should we be getting? The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists recommends that anyone who is pregnant should be getting no more um, but approximately 770 micrograms of vitamin A a day. And that includes what you're getting in supplements as well as your diet. Now, this is the recommendation for most of my patients, but in the World Health Organization does recognize that in some places where there's a worry of lack of nutrition, that people should honestly be taking more, even up to 1,500 micrograms a day or even
even 3,000 micrograms a day to not, to avoid the problems with vitamin A deficiency. But in the United States, really, we don't need more than 770 micrograms a day. You should also be aware that taking too much vitamin A is not only associated with birth defects, but people who aren't pregnant can actually get vitamin A toxicity. And this can be associated with headaches, nausea, vomiting, blurred vision, dizziness, lightheadedness, vertigo. And this can occur if someone's taking more than 10,000 micrograms a day. All right, so we know how much vitamin A to get and we know how much is too much. So how do we get it? Well, you can actually get it from your diet. A lot of foods have wonderful sources of vitamin A, mainly orange foods, so like sweet potatoes and carrots, but other vegetables, leafy green vegetables, some dairy products like milk, cheese, yogurt are wonderful sources of vitamin A. But you can also get it in a prenatal vitamin. You just want to make sure that your prenatal vitamin doesn't have more than 1500 micrograms of vitamin A in it because you're probably getting some in your diet as well. You should also know that vitamin A can be listed in different units in different countries. And so sometimes it's listed as international units and other times it's listed as micrograms. There's an easy math conversion. If you multiply the international units by 0.3, that will give you the equivalent of the micrograms. So no more than 1500 micrograms of vitamin A a day, no more than 5000 international units of vitamin A in a day. Now there's a online vitamin A calculator. I will put the link in the description here. You can actually put in the number and it'll convert it for you. Let's recap. Okay, you learned more about vitamin A than you probably ever wanted to know, but I just think it is fascinating. You've gotten some resources here that you can look it up yourself, but realize vitamin A is the Goldilocks vitamin. You don't want to have too little because it's important for sperm production, egg production, placental function, embryo development, and early pregnancy, but you don't want to have too much because you can actually get vitamin A toxicity and you can get birth defects from too much vitamin A as well. So you want it just right. You want to have about 770 micrograms a day minimum, but not more than 1500 micrograms in any supplement that you're taking or prenatal vitamin because you're also probably getting it from your diet as well. I hope you learned something today. I really enjoy doing a deep dive into vitamin A. Give me more ideas on topics that you want to learn about in comments below. Be sure to stay in touch. Sign up for my newsletter. I'll put the link in the description. It's a wonderful way to stay connected. I share articles every week. I share my uploaded video every week. Um, that is a wonderful way to stay in touch. Like this video if you learned something. Again, comment with questions that you have. Subscribe to this channel so you can get a weekly video every week. I love educating. And as always, stick around for more learning. Thank you.